गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स एज यू ऑल नो दैट वी आर स्टडिंग अबाउट द अर्थ वॉम एंड नाउ एंड नाउ टूडेज टॉपिक इज एक्सक्रीटरी ऑर्गन्स इन नेफ्रीडिया नाउ एक्सक्रीटरी ऑर्गन्स ऑकर्स एज सेगमेंटली अरेंज कॉइल ट्यूब्यूज कॉल नेफ्रीडिया और द मेन एक्सक्रीटरी ऑर्गन्स विच आर प्रेजेंट इन द अर्थ वॉम आर नेफ्रीडिया एंड बेसिकली दीज नेफ्रीडिया आर अरेंज सेगमेंटली इन अ फॉर्म ऑफ कॉइल ट्यूब्यूज Now each nephridia is known as nephridium. Now there are of three types of nephridia which is present in the earthworm. One is septal nephridia, second is integumentary nephridia, and third one is pharyngeal nephridia. Segmental nef uh, septal nephridia. It is uh, septal nephridia is present on both the side of the inter intersegmental septas of se of segment fifth to the last and then open into the intestine. Now septal nephridia. are present on the both side of the inter, uh, intersegmental septa of segment fifth up to the last and that opens into the intestine then come integumentary nephridia basically these nephridia are attached to lining of the body wall of the segment third up to the last and open on the body surface so these uh, nephridia uh, these integumentary nephridia are opening on the body surface septal nephridia are opening into the intestine and the third one is pharyngeal nephridia it is basically pres pres uh, it is present in a form of three pair tuft in the segment between third fifth and sixth now these different types of nephridia are basically similar in structure now the structure of all these types of nephridia are same nephridia regulates the volume and composition of the body fluid now what nephridia is doing it is basically maintaining the volume and the composition of the body fluid a nephridia start out as a funnel now what uh, now start out as a funnel that uh, that collect excess fluid from the ceramic chambers now what uh, now how nephridia look like it's basically in uh, it is basically in a form of funnel which is connected with the uh, with the nephridium uh, which delivers the waste through a pore to the surface in the body wall into the digestive tube now what nephridia is doing it is basically con uh, collecting all the waste material from the body and it delivering it to the digestive tube now next come is nervous system a nervous system is basically represented by the ganglia arranged segment wise on the ventral paired nerve cord now in the nervous system of earthworm it is basically represented by the ganglia which are present seg which are pres uh, which are uh, basically present segment wise and these ganglia are basically found on the ventral side now the main uh, st uh, structure which is included in the nervous system of earthworm is paired nerve cord now this is this paired nerve cord is present on the ventral side now the nerve cord in the anterior region that is in the third and fourth segment bifurcates means the nerve cord in the anterior region it divides into two parts and it's laterally enclosing the pharynx and join to the cerebral ganglia dorsally to form a ray, nerve ring okay the cerebral ganglia along with other other nerves in the ring integrate sensory input as well as command muscular responses of the body now the cerebral ganglia is doing both the function it is receiving the senses and giving responses also theek hai na now now come next come to the sensory system sensory system does not uh, does not have eyes but does possesses light and touch sensitive organs ya receptor cells to distinguish the light intensity and to feel the vibrations in the ground now basically in the earth form not as such uh, sensitive or sensory organs are present but they give responses to light and touch if uh, suppose if we uh, if we are giving any light or if we are touching earthworm it uh, it gives uh, sensations in the body or it show movement worms have specialized chemoreceptors now chemoreceptors are related to taste receptors which react to chemical stimuli if the, if there is uh, if there is uh, there is present any chemical stimuli in the environment it shows uh, 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 responses to that responses to that chemical these sense organs are located in the anterior part of the worm now basically these sense organs are located in the anterior part earthworm is hermaphrodite now what is hermaphrodite it is bisexual my what bisexual means 
both testes and ovaries are present in the same organisms now there are two pairs of testes which is basically present in the 10th basically present in the 10th and 11th segment now from testes a vas deferentia run up to the 18th segment where they join to the prosthetic duct apart from this two pairs of accessory glands are also present one pair each in the 17th and 19th segment now a common prosthetic and spermatic spermatic duct which is also known as vas deferentia open to the exterior by a pair of by a pair of male genital pore on the ventrolateral side of the 18th segment now both uh, these gland prosthetic and spermatic duct opens to the exterior by a uh, basically through a male genital pore uh, in the 18th segment and this is present on the ventral ventrolateral side of the body now apart from this four pairs of spermatici are also located in between 6 to 9 segment one pair in each segment now they receive and store spermata during copulation now apart from this a pair of ovaries are also attached at the intersegmental septum between 12th and 13th segment now ovarian uh, ovarian funnels are present beneath the ovaries which continues into ovary duct now you can see in diagram that ovarian funnels are present beneath the ovaries which opens into a ovary duct and joined together basically both these uh, funnels are joined together and open into the ovary duct open on the ventral side of as a uh, single median uh, female genital pore on the 14th segment now now these uh, ov uh, ovary duct is open to outside on the ventral side through a male genital female genital pore on the 11th segment then a mutual exchange of sperms occur between the two worms during mating now one uh, one worm has to find another worm and they meet juxt they mate juxt juxtaposition opposite gonadal openings exchanging packets of sperms called spermatophores mature sperms and egg cells and nutritive fluid is deposited in the cocoons produced by the gland cells of the clitellum now basically the cocoons are produced by the gland cells of the clitellum and in that cocoons uh, and in that cocoons basically fertilization and development takes place and these cocoons are deposited in the soil now the egg are fertilized by the sperm cell within the uh, cocoon only when they slip off the worm and is deposited in or on the soil now the cocoon holds the worm embryo basically for 3 weeks and after 3 weeks it produces 2 to 20 baby worms and with an average of 4 mean at least each cocoon has 4 worms now in this development is direct that is there is no larval formation so we can say that in earthworm the development is direct no larval formation is there thank you